In the previous video, I showed you how to look at your perimeter uh, and identify access from external networks to your internal networks for TCP, UDP, 445. And we had shown you some findings. I'd like to show you a different way to persistently monitor that uh, using uh, zones and policy. Using zones and policy, we created a brand new policy called SMB vulnerabilities, created two zones. I'll walk you through the steps. Using manage views and choosing new view, we created a zone called SMB vulnerabilities. And we hit save. With SMB vulnerabilities, created two groups. Uh, untrusted, and we did a static add for subnets untrusted, added that to the list. And then we created a new group, and we gave it a name of WannaCry, and I left that blank. And the static members you see here, I'll show you how we're going to add those. So we have our two groups. We also want to create a rule, rule, enable access, access being forbidden. And now we want to populate this group. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you a trick on how to put these hosts in here. Navigating to the vulnerabilities tab and choosing this column, you know, choosing the, the select column picker here. I'm just going to drop out a lot of these items here. The only thing I want to know is hosts that are listening on port 445. Uh, enable my column selector and 445 and choose show all vulnerabilities. And here are all the systems that have a uh, listening port on 445. Just right, uh, I'm sorry, hold down the shift key and select all and down here. Uh, Control A or, or Apple A uh, to select all here. Right click, show in maps and views. And give it a moment. We're going to see this all populate over here. And then clicking on one of these, I'm going to choose copy to group. I'm going to choose my SMB vulnerabilities. I'm going to select the Wanna Cry. I'm going to add that to that selection. And what that does is it copies that filter selection from vulnerabilities which hosts are listening on 445, uh, selected in my maps and views, and now all of those are listed here. Enabling my rule, we turn on compliance, we run compliance, and we see that uh, we have a red arrow here. The red arrow indicates that there is access. This is the access that I showed in the last video, uh, which is access from the uh, branch you know, office in Texas and the uh, SMB access rule that is allowed um, across. Now, this is just a, another way of, of uh, continually checking, uh, looking to make sure that systems that are listening on 445 are, uh, are not accessible or that we monitor the accessibility and that we understand that. I hope you find this video helpful.